What would you think if I were to tell you that there's someone predicting $12,500 for an ounce of gold? You'd probably say that's absolutely crazy price, never possible, guy's a crackpot, and he's a dreamer. Well, the man predicting this is none of the above. <laughs> he's a well-renowned gold analyst who actually predicted the 1980 high of $887.50 50 cents to the day he called the day of the highest price in gold up until recent times in 1980 he called that he actually called nine hundred dollars and he said it when gold is around hundred and fifty an ounce back in 1974 he called nine hundred dollars and when it got up into the 880 range he said this is good enough for me and called the the day that it reached its highest price. Now this individual also in 2002 said that gold was going to $1,650 back when gold was around $340 an ounce. Now, it didn't quite reach that. It reached one, you know, we're well above $1,500 now. And you know, it hasn't quite reached that, but most people in 2002 would have said he was crazy. To, you know, we're, we're going to see fifteen sixteen hundred dollar gold so you know this isn't just your average run-of-the-mill analyst here we're talking about someone who's established themselves as knowing what's happening with the gold market well Jim Sinclair has now come out and said that he expects in the next four years by 2015 we can see twelve thousand five hundred dollars for an ounce of gold this is pure math he says it deserves respect and I'm going to put a link down below to the math that gets us to this number. So how he gets to this is by talking about a loss of controls. The key point with all the QE, all the money printing that has to keep on going now, there's no turning back. You know, Peter Schiff recently I heard him say he's very optimistic that the government will do the wrong thing. And I'm sure he he meant uh, Ben Bernanke as well in that statement. I mean, the Federal Reserve, the government will do the wrong thing. I agree with Peter. I'm also very optimistic. Uh, Jim Rogers in a recent interview said they're going to have QE3 no matter what. Uh, they could call it cupcakes. Whatever, whatever name they come up with, Reinvestment Act. I don't know. <laughs> they're going to have it. They have to have it. If they pull the plug now, who's going to buy the bonds? The Federal Reserve's been buying 70% of the Treasury's bonds to keep us operational. Everything's coming to a head. We've got the ceiling. We're seven weeks Jim from says that At some point, control will be lost of the economy due to so much money printing and quantitative easing, which they have to, to, to continue now. You know, their faith will be lost and the control of the economy will be lost at some point. And gold will do what it always does, what it did, what it did between 1968 and 1980, which is revalue itself to the international debt of the United States, which currently is four and a half trillion dollars. So, in order for it to back up the international debt, according to the math that that I'm going to put a link to below, it has to go to twelve thousand five hundred dollars an ounce. Now, I'm sure that the very first comment on here is going to be, yeah, and when gold's twelve thousand five hundred dollars an ounce. A hamburger is going to be $500 and a gallon of gas is going to be $250. Well, if that's the case, God forbid, I'd rather be sitting on a little stash of gold than a bunch of paper trash.